Drop it to the floor, my name legs low, make the thing pop, you know I'm not a thot, you know I'm not a cop, and you know I can't pop, say your girl can't pop, but I twerk, I make that thing work, I make that thing twerk, what's going on y'all? So, today is, what's today? I gotta get on to the trash can, take this trash real quick, damn man, I need some gas, uh, I'll go get some gas, and then I guess, uh, yeah. But today is Wednesday. What's going on with y'all? I hope y'all have are having a good week so far because to me the week is going by quick. That's what I'm saying. To me it is. I don't know what it's going like for you, but for me it's going by quick. It's so gloomy here. It's been it's supposed to like rain like every day and shit for like four days or like five days or something like that. I don't know. But hopefully the the weekend is warm because. My friend uh, Leah is gonna be in town, and then Jasmine is going to the winery. So I still don't even have no outfit, but we're gonna put it together. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to figure that part out because I think I'm just gonna order something pretty little things for real. But I gotta order it today so it can be to me by Friday so I can have outfit. I wanna wear. I'm probably gonna wear that lime green if I go out on um, on Friday, and then Saturday. I don't know. We gotta figure that out. Got this whole thing of pretty little things that I need to send back, and yeah, I'm probably gonna make myself do that tomorrow because I keep forgetting. But I need to print the little label to go ahead and send it back because yeah, I bought. I didn't tell y'all when I went to Dallas, I had to buy two like the same. I bought the outfits, but I didn't click the right shipping, so I had to buy it again, and then I gotta return it to get my money back. So yeah, that's how that go. And what else? Um, that's really about it. So I got a whole bag of clothes that's the same clothes that I had already ordered. <laughs> but I just been too damn lazy to go take it to the post office. Well, to do what I got to do. So I'm going to do it when I get back. So I'm about to go to this little research thing. Y'all already know I tell y'all sometimes I do this like where I go taste test food. And then they ask me my opinion. And then I get paid for giving my opinion. So I do this every so often. I had just went on there like, oh, let me fill out this little survey thing. And I filled it out. And they said I was, uh, I could do it. So... I don't have my damn shirt. Oh, yes, I do. I was about to say, oh, my God. Um, yeah. It's just crazy how the things that you, like, deal with when you a kid or when you younger, it shapes and molds you to how you are now. And if, if you don't believe that, I don't really know what to tell you. Like, some people be like, yeah, I did, I went through this as a kid. It didn't bother me. It didn't change me. It didn't. It did. It altered, it altered your reality of how, you, how life is and what it is. You see what I'm saying? Like, I can say, oh, that didn't hurt me or that didn't make me feel some type of way. But then when I think hard as fuck, I'm like, damn, yeah. It just been shit that just been coming up to me. And I just be like, dang, that's probably why I be stuffed this way or why I be stuffed that way, you know? It's just crazy. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like, dealing with people or trying to get to know people just in general, it is very hard for me. And... I just like the comfort comfortability of who I know already, you know? And I don't know, I never felt that deeply about that, but it's kind of like, you try to get to know new friends, new people just in general, you just like, I don't know. Because I hate racking my brain about, do well, what they think of me. I always, I always wanna know what they think of me, you know? Not nobody I don't know. I'm talking about people that like I'm communicating with or something like that. Like, what do they think about what I say? I be wanting to know. So it be kind of like, uh, I don't know. But then it comes to some point where you got to be like, if a person going to like you, they going to like you. If they going to want to be your friend, they going to want to be your friend. If they going to want to be in your life, they going to want to be in your life. Exactly how you are. You don't got to alter. You don't got to be a different person. You ain't got to do this. You ain't got to be that. You ain't got to lie. So once I take that aspect out of it, it's kind of like, Alexis, if it don't work, it don't work. It ain't a big deal. <laughs> But I used to get so caught up on, oh my God, what's, what, I mean, well, did I say the wrong thing? What did, 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 but it's kind of like, I said what I said, and hey, if you view me in a different light because I said what I said, or I did what I did, then hey, it just is what it is. That's just kind of how I feel about that. I don't know, it's just crazy. 
like you gotta really look at your life over the years like why do i do the things we do because we're human beings and we we are human and when you're human, which we all are, like I'm acting like somebody's robot or something, but when we human, it's kind of like you trying to protect yourself. So you go through shit, whether that's in your adult life or your, when you was a teenager or when you was a kid, and then you learn based off those things. So like, if you ain't like something, you be like, okay, I'm not gonna do that no more, or I gotta protect myself from this, or I'm gonna act like this to protect myself because no, I don't want this, you know? That's just human nature. And I think it's just more so being self-aware. Like, you have to be self-aware of what it is that you want, what it is that you need in this life. And don't be afraid to meet new people, but if it don't work, it just don't work. Yeah, that's just what I'm trying to say, I guess. Order my, my new black purse, y'all. Um, but, yeah. I think I found some black sandals, too. My subscriber had sent me $25 for me some black sandals my, for my birthday. And I've been trying to find the right ones. So y'all know it takes me a little minute. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find the right ones, but I got like two of them that I like, so I'm trying to figure it out. Ooh. All right, y'all, so I'm leaving this little research place. My damn ponytail is about to fall off in there, bitch. <laughs> I caught myself trying to wrap the motherfucking Marley hair around my ponytail. I don't got the, I got two bobby pins, first off. Two bobby pins that ain't even working out. I like, please don't let this fucking ponytail fall off in here. Oh, uh, and I was right in the front. They probably would have been looking at me like, bitch, what is going on? All I do is think about you, baby. Is think about you. I think about you. <laughs> get a bowl and I'm gonna get fried cauliflower and then I'm about to take my ass in the house because I got from here at Target. I came here to get some lip gloss and then I might go to the mall but we gonna see because I need an outfit still for the weekend but yeah I don't know. I need lip gloss and I want to get some tea too. This is like it could uh, never mind let me not fuck the word up but uh, you need this basket ma'am? Oh. Okay yeah okay I'm sorry thank you. She had her hand on my, <laughs> she had her hand on my basket. <laughs> ma'am, you need, ma'am, you need a basket. Get your hand on my basket, ma'am. This ain't your basket. Why are you touching all on me? Yeah, so this is my favorite lip gloss right now. Um, It's two dollars and it's just bomb. And it don't make my lips like feel like they about to break out. I don't have an allergic reaction. Actually, I think I'm gonna get two of them. It's just the e.l.f. regular lip gloss. I think I showed y'all this before, but it's bomb. It just runs out so fucking quick. Yes, Elf. I should try another one because somebody said one of these they really like. But I don't remember which one it was. New Kiss. I don't know. Yeah, I wanted some Echinacea tea. Oh, it's some right here. I thought I didn't see it, but here it is. <clears throat> so I'm getting this echinacea tea. If I'm saying it wrong, it's going to be shitty. But the benefits of it are it clears up chronic infections, works with healing scale ailments. Because I have eczema like on my leg and I feel like it's been there for too long. Like it's been there like a month. And the shit, I don't know if I should get some hydrocortisone, but I'm going to get some. It's supposed to be good for respiratory infections. It helps you with colds and flus, any inflammation, and stimulates your immune system. So I'm going to get this and see if it works. Um, it don't hurt to try it because, yeah, this little eczema on my leg is irritating me. So now we got to get, now we got to get some face masks because I fur. Oh, my nose is so oily looking. We got to get some face masks because I forgot to grab them. And I think that's all I'm going to get. I'm probably going to go through all the aisles as usual. Per usual. All right, y'all, so I just, I love this silicone mix, but i never seen this kind. Yes, i never seen this kind. This is bamboo, neutral. I feel like I want to try this on my hair. Hmm. But I don't really want to buy it, to be honest, but I might have to come back and try it. I mean, I could use it on my hair, but I'm brittle and dull here. But I got this at home. I got the regular kind from the, from the beauty supply. And I'm pretty sure it's cheaper at the beauty supply. So, yeah. I'm going to just wait. Thou snapped on this. 
That bitch snap. That bitch snap. This is my favorite. She snap. I keep watching it over and over. She snapped. Get ready to go to the beauty supply because I'm about to. I just got done washing my hair. I just washed my hair in the kitchen sink for the first time. I normally wash it in the shower. And that shit was like amazing. Like I'm always going to wash it in the kitchen sink now. Um, but I'm doing the half up, half down on my hair. And the title of the series will be Lex L Learns Hair. That's the title of the series on my channel. So I'm learning how to do my own hair because I just need to learn while I'm here in Georgia. Um, yeah. And if I ever move back home... Which I don't know if I am or if I'm not. Not right now. But if I ever move back home, I won't have to do my own hair. But for right now, I have to learn how to do my own hair. So, I'm going to be practicing with the hair that I get sent. I'm going to try to do the half up, half down. I got some curly hair. I dyed the hair. So, yeah, that's what we own. Um, so, I got to go to the beauty supply to pick up a few things. And, yeah. I was, I was supposed to put my sheets on my bed like uh, a whole day ago. I just put them back. You know how I want to put them on the bed when they warm. So I just put them back in the dryer. So they in the dryer right now. <laughs> so they in the dryer. Well, they still in the dryer. I'm just like, I want them to be warm when I put them on. So when I get back, I'm going to make my bed and stuff up. All right. So I'm going to talk to y'all in a minute. I had to go back in the house to get the trash right quick because I said, yeah, let me take this damn trash out because I was about to go down to the trash can anyway. What percent my phone now? 32. I'm just going to the beauty supply, so we should be good. Hopefully it don't die. Actually, nah, I want to go to Starbucks so bad. But I'm not going to go. Let me see. If I got some, if I got some, um, some points, I mean some things on my car, I can go to Starbucks. If I don't got no money on there, oh, I think I got enough money to get a drink, actually, for free. Got $7 on my car, so yeah, we can go. <laughs> uh, so I ain't using no existing money to go. That's gonna be that. So, yeah, I'm excited to do for film, to film this video. I don't know, though. I'm excited, but I'm still kind of like... <laughs> I'm just gonna pray, God got my hand. Y'all know I always pray that same prayer. God got my hands, let me do my hair right, because I want it to be cute for the weekend. So, I can't braid, so I'm going to try to braid the back. We're going to see how this goes, okay? We're going to see how it goes. And we, I ain't going to stress it. I'm just going to go into this lighthearted. I'm going to go get the stuff to do my hair, and we're going to try to do it. And I got to blow dry that hair back. Because I just, uh, I had dyed the hair, and then I, it's still wet. Because I just rinsed the conditioner out this morning. So, I'm just going to blow dry it kind of to get it back dry so I can go ahead and put the tracks and stuff on. It's going to be a quick weave, nothing serious. So, I just got to get like probably like three or four things from the bee supply actually. Nothing. Because I already got spritz. I need some uh, glue. Because I got glue, but I don't know. Because that glue be acting crazy like it don't want to come out the thing. So, yeah, we're going to put it together. Ooh. I gotta go in here and get some damn coolant because I just feel like I'm gonna need some. And they keep on coming to me, so I'm gonna go in here and get some. <laughs> Cause I don't got no more in my car. Cause you know, sometimes my car do say, it just run out of coolant. I don't know what the hell be going on with it, but I feel like I'm gonna be somewhere and I'm gonna need some damn coolant and I'm gonna be looking dumb. So yeah, no. I was passing AutoZone. I'm like, let me take my ass in here. First I was gonna pass it up, then I was like, it keep coming to me. So I try not to go against my gut. Like if I feel something or my intuition, I don't go against it. I'll be like, okay, I gotta do this because it's a reason. This shit just twenty dollars twenty dollars though. That shit is a lot. Next thing I need is some windshield wipers, but yeah, I'm not about to buy no windshield wipers today. <laughs> I gotta buy some bro. All I got was a grande strawberry acai. And I got a venti water. Cause Starbucks water is so good. Y'all already know that. I love Starbucks water. I mean, let me get me a water. I always get the bigger size of water. Cause I be feeling like, I used to get like a venti. Sometimes I still, still will get like a venti strawberry acai refresher. But now I be feeling like it be too much. So I just get a grande and a, a big water. Like, like the grande is just enough. And I used to be able to sip this down like one of the miles, two gulps and it be gone. But I just take my time, drink it and I feel fulfilled. And then I drink my water behind it. Like that should be a bit much. I got a Vinci. Did I get a Trenta? I got a Trenta. 
because I had a free reward. I was like, this is too much. <laughs> this is too much. It was just too much. All right, let me finish listening to my music. We about to go to the beauty supply on these hoes one time. One time for the one time. We have to be supplied. What we need is, let me tell you, we got to get two of these wig caps. I mean, I need some freeze spray, I guess. I'm trying to think if I got some of this already. I don't know, though. I guess. And then we got enough gel, I think. White pencil so I can see where to draw the line. So we're gonna get a white pencil. And hold on. Alright, y'all. We got everything we need from the beauty supply store, baby. Alright, now I'm gonna go home and film this damn video. I should have put my um I should have put my other battery on the charger for my camera, but I didn't feel like looking for it. And I know I had it yesterday. I just be misplacing every damn thing. Like, where is it at? Lost in the sauce. <laughs> Cause I think all I needed was the cap, the pencil, um, spray to spray it down. I got spritz at home. That's basically all I needed. For real, for real. I think I got some hairspray if I need some hairspray. I got a blow dry the hair. Ain't no sun out really though. So hopefully it don't look too bad. I might have to bring my ring light in and use my ring light to film. Cause it look like it's gonna, it's gloomy today. Look like it's gonna rain. All right, what up, though? So I actually just got done filming a tutorial of me doing my hair. I actually feel like it came out really good, but I feel like I need to add some more tracks in the back. So I probably will do that when I get back, but I am starving, and I'm gonna give me something to eat because I ain't ate all day. Um, and I pushed through. I'm proud of myself because I did push through, and I um did a whole video, and I haven't eaten anything today. So I'm proud of myself for that, but it's time for me to get food because I am hungry. Like starving hungry and my hair looks so good. I dyed it with the box dye I need to add some more tracks in here, which I'm gonna do when I get back from the fucking store I mean from getting my food because yeah, I don't even know what I want to eat I think I'm gonna get so Chipotle was giving away free bowls on Twitter So I think I got a free bowl So I think I'm gonna get my bowl and get me some flaming hot Doritos and eat me some hood nachos today That's just what I want to eat. So yeah I am so proud of my hair, bitch, because y'all know I don't know how to do my own hair. So, only thing I know how to do is twist outs. I braided the back bottom part. I don't know how it looked, but it was braided in my eyes. I look, I gotta look on camera and see. Um, but I did braid it, and then I put this in. And I'm proud of myself. I am really proud of myself for this hairstyle. And I dyed it this brown at the bottom. I just think, yeah, I did a good job. Alright, so I will talk to y'all in a minute. I'm about to go get my food. Yeah, I called my maintenance people to unplug my stop my tub. I gotta show y'all how I look. Nigga, what, I mean, what did you do? Are you serious? It looks so ghetto. I, when I tell you, I cannot wait to move from my apartment complex. I cannot wait to move. Like, it's so ugly in the inside, first off. Rent is high and it's ugly as fucking inside. It's enough for me. Oh, I cannot wait to move. Y'all can see my color a little bit better now. See it? It's like brownish. Yeah, you can see it a little better. I don't get my bowl. Eat me some hood nachos on you hoes. That California Roots Moscato had me on my ass yesterday, girl. I slept so good. I had one glass. I was knocked out sleep. Knocked out, knocked out. I just don't like how I did the front part of my hair. It's not sleek enough. I gotta figure out how to do that, but it'll do. Yeah, it's not sleek enough. It look like a regular bun. I guess when I get it back, I could try to like lay the edges and then put the headscarf on, and then spritz it to death. Maybe I'll try that. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see in a minute. Oh, I forgot to bring my damn camera in Chipotle, shit. I'll tell y'all when I get out. Because I don't like to vlog the same thing like, like in the car for 45 hours. So I'll tell y'all tell you the story in a minute. <laughs> y'all know I always got a story every time I go in these damn restaurants. Girl, you don't get your ass home. Hold on, y'all. I'll talk to y'all one second. Hold on. Y'all, so I got to tell y'all what happened to Chipotle. So I got told y'all I got my free bowl. So I'm using my free bowl. I'm just coming in here to get some flaming hot Dorito. I'm getting my free bowl. I'm like, I, uh, 
So the lady, the, I wanted to show y'all so bad because the lady, she that was putting the chicken on the bowl, I bullshit y'all not, bro. I bullshit y'all not. She had probably about 10 pieces of chicken on mine. And the person that was after me, she put like eight pieces of chicken on there. I bullshit you not. If y'all could have saw it, I'm like, where the fuck my camera at? But I didn't have it. So I'm like, can you put me a little bit of my chicken on mine? So she put me a little bit of my chicken. They gonna try to charge me extra at the thing. So I gave they, I said, I got a free bowl. So I gave it to, I, she scanned the thing. And if I didn't have a free bowl, I'm still not paying for no extra chicken. I'm not about to be paying $10 for a bowl and y'all give me three pieces of chicken. It's a no man for me. No. And I got free chips. And I got free Glock, and I got free bowl. I got all that free. Cause I had chips and Glock for my birthday. <clears throat> but the one for my birthday, you had to spend $5. And then the other one that I got, when you download the Chipotle app, they give you free chips and Glock for a reward. And it was just free, so I used that too. So damn annoying. Cause if you weren't gonna give it to me for free, if you was gonna try to charge me $12 for this bowl and this Glock, I was gonna call a corporate and get a free ball, so it's gonna make me no different. And I'm not paying all that. I'm not paying my money for no. I'm not doing that. How I feel about the chicken anyway? Mm -mm. You're not gonna give me four pieces of chicken from now on. I'm complaining every time. Can I get a little more chicken? Can you put me a little more in there? Thank you. And don't try to charge me extra because I'm gonna be saying something, or I don't want it. Now we don't waste the whole bowl. So let's waste the whole bowl. How about that? I didn't even get the chance to show y'all this, but I came to Publix to get something to drink. I like the strawberry sparkling water. I still drink the LaCroix, but I haven't got this like in bulk. I just come get it whenever I'm in Publix. It's just so fucking good. It tastes like strawberry pop. It's like not as strong as the LaCroix. So if you didn't like LaCroix, you may like this better. Because it's not as bad at all. The skyline is so pretty. I had to hide it, bitch. I was praying to God nobody stole my fucking camera. Oh my God, we about to go to Waffle House. I wanna hear T Grizzly. T Grizzly is a shit, bitch. In real life. Hey, they tried to bury us right here. I didn't know we were seized.